When your pet needs urgent care, you need animal emergency care. Staffed with caring veterinary professionals with a state-of-the-art facility. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for emergencies only. Animal Emergency Care in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Oh, we got a bundle of joy for you today. You need a little more joy in your house? You got to meet Noah. Hi, Laura Clark from the Washington Humane Society. Good morning. We took the dog off leash, which was a bad move because no. he won't stand still. So That's good. He's got places to go, I things know. to see. He's epic. He's a great dog. <laughs> He's just so life. happy and itchy. Happy and, and itchy. itchy. Stand by. Noah, come here. Patrice has treats. Oh, Enjoy boy. I, I Noah is help. the most difficult treats. dog to photograph that we've ever had in here. <laughs> he won't stop wiggling. So this is a dog that the dog DNA tests need to take place for because I don't I have no idea what he is. Huh. Wow. He's a dog. He's he, a Noah. He's, well, he he's is, a beautiful Noah. Yeah. He's incredible. He's six years old, and his story is a little bit sad. His previous owner passed away, and you know that happens. And uh, family and friends were not able to take care of him. They brought him to the Whatcom Humane Society. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I haven't tried this yet. I didn't uh, know how this would go. He looks okay. <laughs> Dave just picked up Noah and is now snuggling him. And this is the first time I've seen he, Noah still. Noah looks like he's like waiting to be freed. Freed, Aww. freed. Now, let's say we do free Noah. Pretty much an adventure at the dog park, right? Absolutely. He would be. I feel like he would just run wild. But so if I think Noah would be good with another puppy at home, right? I think Noah would love another dog. Um, I believe in his previous home, there might have been some history with him getting along really well with other dogs. There's also history of him thinking cats are squeaky toys so oh. that's not okay. a good match yeah. so he needs a cat free small animal free home okay. but a home with another dog would probably be a good bet he's six years old but he has the energy of a little puppy so much energy so what is a good way to introduce two dogs if i have a dog in my house already what's a good way to bring noah into the household? well and you know he sort of looks like a miniature golden retriever i know that's not what he is i actually think he's probably a little corgi dachshund terrier or something 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 mm-hmm. But we could call him a designer breed, a mini golden. Okay, perfect. He does have kind of medium hair. He's golden color with a little white stripe down his chest and some fluffy ears. And he's amazing. So great question, though. You have another dog or a couple dogs. You want to meet another dog. How do you do it? Well, at the Whatcom Humane Society, we actually require that you bring your dogs in because we want to see how that goes. And it's great because our staff, who are pretty well versed in dog behavior, can introduce everybody in a neutral spot. So and that's the key is you don't just want to walk a new dog into your dog's space and have them go, whoa, what is happening here? Who are you? Stranger danger. Yeah. So a neutral space, we tend to do a whole process on the leash where we just sort of walk by one another. Mm -hmm. Just like, hey, nothing going on here. Just go and walk. And then you slowly get closer. You know, dogs are all about their noses. They smell. So they need to smell the behind, the front side. They Mm -hmm. need to get comfortable. Then you start off leash introductions. And so it's slow and steady. So no one feels overwhelmed. And usually you'll know pretty quickly. One of the great things, a lot of people come in and they they meet a dog and they say, well, my dog doesn't seem particularly interested. That's actually a really good thing. Indifference is better than I'm very intensely focused on this mm-hmm. dog and yeah. what is happening as opposed to, hey, what's up? Uh-huh. You know, just kind of Playing chilling cool. out. Yeah, uh-huh. seeing so what's happening. I've been doing a lot of dog sitting lately. Is is the thing to do, have it on the leash first, have you, have your dog on the leash first, and then let it become familiar, or do you just let them run free and see how it goes? Really depends on the dog, Alan. So I, for example, have a dog that is highly reactive to other dogs, and the leash plays into that. So when Leash he, aggression, is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, or leash, leash reactivity yeah. can be a big deal. Mm-hmm. So again, we have great trainers in Whatcom County that can help you with that, but always like to, you never just want to go nose to nose right off, because that can cause some problems. So again, just kind Kind of walking by, leaving some space, letting the dogs kind of chill out and get to know one another is a really great first sort of introduction. Dog parks cannot be the best places for that because they're they some dogs do not like dog parks. I, for example, am not a big fan of the dog parks. I understand why they're there, and a lot of people love them. Dave, you're a big dog park guy. I know your dogs love the dog park. Yeah, you know, the off-leash trail at uh, Whatcom Falls Park is where we normally go, as yeah. opposed to the enclosed park. Yeah. So some dogs, just like with people, some dogs can roll with the punches. Some dogs can't. With this dog, I think he's a perfect dog for that. 
want to take a dog to the brewery kind mm-hmm. of place because he loves everybody and he does love other dogs. Some dogs not. We don't get dogs like this a lot at the Whatcom Humane Society. Cool He's a pretty awesome little guy. He so just wants to play. Can, can Noah do like an IPA at the brewery or how does that work? I think it's more of a Pilsner kind of Pilsner, a dog. Gotcha. Yeah, I see him being more of a Pilsner. I know that's not popular. IPAs are very popular up yeah, here, I, but I think he goes traditional, maybe of a lager. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, Noah, available for adoption now at the Watkins Humane Society. This is going to be a great dog for He's somebody. The perfect size dog. You can take him anywhere. He's got the energy of a big dog, and he's just got the best personality. No cats, but another dog would be great. Mm-hmm. Kids are good. He seems to love everybody. Respectful kids, <laughs> always a good bet. I mean, really, it sounds like the Valentine family yes. would be a good match for Come this on, dog. Noah. Mm-hmm. Noah, available now at the Whatcom Humane Society. Laura Clark, thank you so much. Have a great week.